I was an accounting major, heading toward a CPA thing. But about 90 seconds after I took my first course, I realized accounting was not going to happen. I loved broadcasting, played jazz when I was a, at, at college, and I wanted to do something in that area. And I got fired from a job I had in the summertime, and I went up on campus and met Father Dan Power, literally crossed paths with him. You know, it's one of those things where if you had brushed your teeth 30 seconds longer, never would have happened. He took me in his office, sat me down, and said, uh, I said, I want to get into broadcasting. I said, aren't you part of the new WETA television board? Yes, I am. He calls up Bill McCarter, who was then the ripe old age of 32, was the general manager, and he says, Bill, I've got a young lad here, says he wants to get into broadcasting, and I told him you would see him. So, Bill, realizing he's got no choice but to get this over with, says, how about Monday morning? This was a Friday that I went to see him. Monday I go in, woman takes me into his office. He tells me why I can't work for him because I don't have any experience and things like that. And I was leaving and he said, stop, okay. Can you work for 75 bucks a week? I said, sure. And he says, go down and see Joanne, who's our accountant, to fill out the W-4s and all, all the paperwork. I went down there. I sat with her for 20 minutes filling out these forms and it was love at first sight. And uh, four years later, we were married. And before we were married, she had the time. She wanted to do you know, some more production kinds of things. These th programs were usually done after hours, 7 o'clock at night, after everybody went home. And not everybody was willing to stay on and take up these tasks, which she was more than willing to do because she wanted to learn. So at the time, it was not unionized, which meant that you could do everything. Um, you could be assistant director, you could do makeup, you could do audio. She learned all those things and ended up being a production assistant for many programs, but in particular, Washington Week, where we would come every Friday night to do it. So um, we got married in 68, and, um, you know, that was it. So she, she was an integral part of the show at the very beginning, as was I, but in a different area. And she frequently says, you know, the reason this marriage has endured is because you like to be in front of the camera. I don't mind being behind the camera, okay? You know, I hate to say the rest is history, but that's, you know, it's led to three children, six grandchildren, and a long association with WETA and Georgetown, by the way.